So that's the third next drop we've had on the series so far. And of course, it's a pair of Virtus gloves. Let's see how much these are worth. Um, but yeah, you know, we've been doing this for a little while now. Obviously, my gear setup isn't very good. We've obviously just got the Ganodermic with the Farseer Kite Shield. Um, the Dungeoneering Master Cape and the Abyssal Wand. Probably not the best gear you could be using. Um, but seeing as the series is probably... I'm on a really, really strict budget. So obviously, um, you know... I'm just using this gear. I'm not, I didn't even have a range switch. But let's see how much the Virtus Gloves are. They are 7.8 mil. So that's like... Uh, it's like not even 3 mil each. You know, not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Well, yeah, so 2.6 mil split for the Virtus Gloves. Um, not too bad. 34 mil cash power right now. Getting there. Making quite a bit of progress. And I'm also on Skype call with Pa. So you're in the video, man. Um, you're currently muted on Skype, so that's probably why you can't hear me. But there's 140k, I think that's for the Mage Logs. Um, and I think Ice Phase has more loot for me, or does he? Nope, he's run off. But yeah, so make a little bit of money from next. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Damn, son. So first of all, I've got a Rock Tail, so I can restock my inventory. As well as a 50 Grimy Lantern Armor, which is one of the best drops. As well as a Royal Frame, which is also one of the best drops. Um, but not only have I just received them, I've received all of these three things in the one chair. So that's quite good. And, as you should be able to tell, I'm doing some QBD for some money right now. Now, at the beginning of the series, I said I wanted to do some QBD just to make me some money. Um, but I, was, I wasn't I was very good at the at the beginning of the series, because I only had, like, Royal and stuff like that. Like, a like, full full Royal with an armadillo helmet. Um, and I wasn't really feeling QBD. But when I was streaming last night, um, some of the viewers suggested that I go back to QBD with Dragon Bane Bolt and test it out. And I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot right now. It is quite good money per hour. And last night I did a price check and it was about 75 million. Um, so I do need about 20 more mil GP. And I'm going to get that through, um, uh, I think it's going to be Nex or God Wars or just QBD. I, I think I'm just going to do uh, those three things just to finish the series off. And at the end of the series I want to do a live stream and we can do like a massive um, like a massive get together with some of you guys if you guys wanted to come along. Um, but I just wanted to stream the finale. Um, I'm not sure how many people will be there. But, you know, I just want to do it and I'll record it and stuff as well. So, you, as long as you guys are watching the videos, you guys will see the finale. But, yeah, so that's that's what the plan is at the moment. Just doing some QBD to make a bit more money. And then, um, hopefully, finish the series off very shortly. Now, this job just makes me laugh. I can just imagine JX sitting there thinking, oh, let's just make some QBD rewards. Um, they, you know, put the Royal Frame, put the Royal Sight, put all the Royal stuff in there. Maybe chuck a Visage in. And, uh, you know, Dragon Kite Shield, things like that. And they're like, oh, I can't really be bothered thinking about anything. So let's just give them money so they don't even have to sell anything. And, you know, let's just lower the value of GP even more. But, yeah, got my 200k GP listed enough to sell anything. As well as my Sarodome and Brew so I don't have to um, bank anytime soon. But I just found that quite funny. So it's another time for another hectic price check. Um, so we've just basically got um, 400 Battle Starves, 4,000 Yakites, some Potion Flasks, Broad Arrowheads... Um, and then just a bunch of other loot and stuff. The re main reason why I'm doing this is just to clear up my tab because I've got, um, only about 60 more spaces left until my bank's full. And I do just want to get rid of all this stuff and see where I am about in this series. Because the last price check I did was, would have been about 60 mil or something like that. Um, so I'm quickly going to withdraw all my money. Um, and... F*** <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> So, I'm going to sell basically all of the drops and stuff. Um, we've got Snapdragons. Uh, I'm going to sell these Lantern Arms as well. And we've got the Dragon Stones. I can't stop laughing. I'm sorry. We've also got a couple of um, Royal stuff as well from QBD. going to take those out. My Abyssal... Uh, I'm going to use my Abyssal Wand at next. But basically, it's just the drop. So, I'm going to grab everything out and then I'll be back. Oh, god damn Trent, man. As soon as I start recording, Trent's just like... Fuck it right in the pussy! Fuck it right in the pussy! Fuck it right in the pussy! I'm just like, oh my god, man. So, that's 2.9 mil straight off the bat. Not a, not too much of a bad start, if you ask me. I didn't realise how good Frost... Well, I obviously knew how much... You know, how good Frost Dragon Bones were. But one inventory Frost Dragon... Frost Dragons. 510k. Are you kidding me? So that is the first inventory of stuff. 8.3 mil, not including the... Hold on a sec. Hello, Mr. Thieving Hood. Not including the Verac Plate Skirt, the Royal Frame, or the Dragon Bolt. So, you know, it's quite quite good so far. And um, we'll see how we go with the second event. I'm sorry, Dailies, but I'm going to have to get rid of you. This is another rest in peace moment. 
I just want to see, I'm sorry, I just wanted to see whereabouts in the series I am. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay, I spent 200k on these yak hides and I'm selling them for one, almost 1 1.8 mil. That's 1600k profit. Are you kidding me? Okay, 1400k profit. If these sell. Yep, 1600k profit. Four days, 1600k profit. I ain't complaining. So a couple of episodes ago, I did price check my bank, and it was about 60 mil. Um, so I'm going to quickly take out my full armor, my abyssal wand, and um, just a couple more things. Just I'm um, having a look around the bank here, and I'm also just going to take out my cash pile. Now I'm just kind of um, recording over the clip because I did I did lose the audacity clip of the live commentary. So I'm just putting my full armor now with my abyssal wand. I've got to take out the money from the coin purse, obviously, just to see you know because a lot of my money is in the coin pouch. And um, so I think I've got like, what is that, 50, almost 52 mil in the coin pouch, as well as a full armor on the Abyssal Wand. Um, and as you see, I've got about 76.5 million GP in the series so far. Um, and now, obviously, uh, you know, making some progress. Dragos would be about 100 mil, so I'm, I'm three quarters of the way, um, essentially, to Dragos. And, you know, there's a... Stay tuned for the next clip, because it's quite a big, uh, quite a big achievement. So we've just done QBD for an hour, currently streaming. Um, and, you know, the thing with Drygos right now is they're actually on the rise, so hopefully I can buy them for cheap, and then eventually, um, you know, I don't, I don't lose, you know, I don't lose a lot of money in the future, because if I buy them cheaper, um, I can potentially make money, but I don't know, I'm just going to try and buy a Drago now, this is a, this is quite a big milestone in the series, in before they've dropped, 172k I got back, so that's the first Drygor of the series, that's some Drygor hype worthy stuff going on there, you know, the point of this series is to get dual Drygor Longswords, and we've just achieved half, almost half the goal, I'd say about maybe maybe a quarter of the goal or a third of the goal, but yep, that's the first Drygor of the series purchased, now we just have to get the main hand.